I'd like to call a meeting to order. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, welcome, everybody. Winter finally came this week, and I think it's going to leave us in like a day or two, too. Had a little ice in the river, and that was pretty. Uh, moving right along, roll call, please. <laughs> Joanne Shirky? Here. John Horvath? Here. Cindy Valentine? Here. Artie Bryson? Yep, I'm here. Tom Kruger? I am here. Tom Fetter? Here. Karen Straffen? Uh, absent excuse. All right, uh, moving right along, we got bills payable. I'll make a motion to approve the bills payable, the amount of $133,899.92. Support. Motion and support. <clears throat> Do we have any discussions or questions? <clears throat> Hearing none, roll call vote, please. John Horvath. Yes. Cindy Valentine, yes. Artie Bryson? Yes. Tom Kruger? Yes. Tom Fetter? Yes. Joanne Shirky? Yes. Okay, motion carries. <clears throat> uh, right now we have uh, any public comments relating to anything on the agenda. Um, if you had just public comments and things in general, that's at the end of the meeting. But anything that's on our agenda for tonight, you can uh, we'll entertain any public comments. Seeing none, moving right along. Uh, consent agenda. Make, Go ahead. <laughs> I'll make a motion to approve the consent agenda consisting of uh, minutes of the board meeting of February 1st, 2016 and the synopsis, reports, uh, check report, assessing department report, fire department, January police department report, <coughs> water department report for January, Planning Commission 2015 Summary, Building Zoning and Code Enforcement for January. Also, we have a notice about a legislative, up or legislative February update, and there's no communications or requests. Support. Okay. <clears throat> Any discussion? Anything need to be pulled out or anything? Yes, uh, on the minutes, excuse me, the minutes and the synopsis. On the second page of the minutes, I see that the motion is blank and supported is blank. And I made the motion for adjournment. And um, Tom Fetter made the motion, seconded the motion to adjourn down where we called for adjournment. And I'm I glad think we it, passed that one. Yes. And yeah. I think I think it was. Are we still be in session? <laughs> Are we still there? I uh, just to keep the, the, yep. the things right. It ain't right and, and it ain't so. If, I think it was around 8:30 that we yeah, finished. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I have it written down in my notes. I apologize. Mm. Okay. And then a synopsis. I never got a synopsis. <coughs> is, is, yeah, did I just not get it, it, or was there not one? I don't no. think we had one. We just ran out. Okay. Your ass was so short, we didn't make one. No. <laughs> it's probably in the basket. <laughs> okay, anything else? Hearing nothing, all in favor of uh, consent agenda, signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Supervisor's <laughs> report. <clears throat> oh, I can hardly wait. I know it. Highlight of the evening. Um. <clears throat> Our uh, February 24th at 1 o'clock, I'm going to do our uh, yearly meeting with the Road Commission. I know, Joanne, you were talking about maybe going. Yes. Anyone mm -hmm. on our board can attend that with me if they like to. You get a few free cookies from the County Road Commission. <clears throat> and uh, we sh they, they tell us, you know, what kind of matching funds we're going to get. And, uh, and just what's coming down the pipe and we start thinking about, you know, different road projects. We do have um, Holland Road slated to be done this spring. Um, remember, we're trying to wrap or, or get bid this out with uh, the county bids 
because they're, they, it to gets a lot cheaper. Right, right. You know, we mm -hmm. figure we save 25, 30% <clears throat> instead of waiting until the middle of the summer to put them out. Um, <clears throat> and uh, we are looking at uh, establishing a temporary kennel in the police station. There's a gentleman that um, wants to do some uh, community service to, uh, he's going to, uh, He's trying, he's trying to, he's in Boy Scouts, he's trying to become an Eagle Scout for his Eagle badge, and you got to do so many hours of uh, <clears throat> community service, and... Um, project. Right. It's a project, not service. Thank you. There's a difference. <laughs> Big difference. <laughs> <laughs> and... Um, uh, we with we are tearing down a, a wall with this construction in between the sally ports, and, and we will have room for uh, uh, probably to, to house you know two animals. And uh, he's doing all the legwork, and uh, he's actually going to do a little uh, uh, funding for it. And uh, <clears throat> I told him it would be really nice if we get some volunteers if we do ac actually have to house them that they come in and to take care of them and he's going to try to line all that up and everything so the dog's going to stay there for about a week around the clock yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> um <clears throat> what he's going to do um is do a fundraiser for us to buy uh one of those scanners i guess when they, they they'll embed a chip you can go to a vet and get a chip embedded and it'll tell you who the owner is and where they live and all the things about the dog. And uh, they're a couple hundred bucks and he said he, he really wanted to, to, to go raise the funds to, to so purchase that. So we, we'd have it here also. Um, Good idea. Let's see, we're still working on, on the MERS issue. Actually, we're just waiting. We got all, the, we're waiting for one little bit of information that should be settled. Um, working on the ALS issue still with med control. And uh, let's see what else is going on. Everybody knows the Detroit Bridge Company filed a permit with the DEQ to uh, put a bridge over to Harsons Island. Uh, originally when that notice went out, there was only a 20 day uh, period where people could uh, comment or, uh, or get information or, or, or anything like that. Uh, Township, we wrote a letter to the DEQ asking them to have a public hearing, which they agreed to do. Uh, it's scheduled for March 9th at the Algonquin Elementary School at seven o'clock, that's March 9th. Wednesday is the day after the primary elections uh, at seven o'clock in the auditorium. I'm going to have it videotaped and put it on YouTube so if people could watch it from their homes. And the DEQ is allowing uh, more comments 10 days after the public hearing. So you'll be able to send them a letter, call them, email them uh, up to March 19th with uh, any concerns or anything about that. So that's why I'm uh, putting it on YouTube so people in Florida or whatever can uh, get a chance to check it out and uh, get a letter in if they so choose. <clears throat> um, we are uh, moving quite along with expanding the electricity in the, in the park and putting up light paths. In fact, John, I forgot to tell you, you have your guys, they poured uh, <coughs> cement uh, basis for the lights, and uh, and the, I think we should put a cone over them because it might be someone could trip over them, and where they're putting the plugs to. I, I forgot to tell you. Sorry about that. <laughs> Part of the job, you know. Um, and uh, we also started the addition on the uh, police addition. Uh, the footings are in. <clears throat> I believe all the utilities are moved or, or they're being planned to move. They're gonna come and start the block work uh, the 22nd. Um, we didn't really want them at all tore up during the winter fest and all, all kinds of equipment standing around there. So they're coming the, the day after the winter fest to start the block. And uh, then they're gonna, they said that, that'll probably be done within a week, week and a half. So they're, they're ready to rock and roll on that. 
Um, and we started the project also of upgrading the uh, council for the dispatch. Upcoming events, big winter fest coming this weekend. Uh, we have Friday DJ chili cook off. Uh, I think that's about it on Friday. Yeah. The horseshoes on Friday? No, Saturday. It's going to be some, uh, the Algonac hoop troop will be there fire hooping Friday night. Oh, Saturday. okay. Friday, okay, that's fun. <clears throat> then uh, Saturday, uh, we got a kids ice fishing contest, which isn't going to be held on ice due to lack of. And so we're bringing in, a, or I should say, I say we, the, the Pearl Beach Lions, this is Pearl Beach Lions event, bringing in a, a tank and they're going to put about 50 or 60 trout in them that are going to be hungry and the <clears throat> kids can uh, fish out of that. Um, not sure if the, our, how, what shape our ice is going to be in for the figure skaters. <clears throat> it depends if it's too soft. They pay, you know, the, those skates cost them about 1000 to $1,500 a piece. <clears throat> so they don't want to, if it's soft, they're probably not going to skate, but we'll check it out. But we still have uh, the circus, uh, two circus shows, one Stripe in... Stripe Circus. Stripe Circus. What time? Is it one and I believe it's three? One thirty and five. One thirty and five? Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, then at night, uh, great bands playing Soul Provider. And uh, then Saturday, and there's food and uh, vendors there, you know, all, the whole time, too. And then uh, Sunday, we have... Wrestling. It's not WWE, it's Extreme. XICW. XICW. Extreme Intense Championship Wrestling. Yes, the Rhino's going to be here. Some other guy that's supposed to be a uh, big time wrestler. And, <clears throat> and Cindy and Joanne are going to wrestle. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> Just kidding. <clears throat> but that's going to be a good event. <clears throat> um, like to mention, too. I know it's early, but I just got the email. Uh, July 23rd, uh, Boats for Vets. It's going to be at the Idle Hour at 9.30 a.m. <clears throat> what they do is uh, they get a bunch of people to, to volunteer for uh, their boats. And uh, they get a bunch of vets. I don't know, they used to get about 100, 150 vets. And uh, basically go around and give them a boat ride for the couple, three hours. <clears throat> And I was going to, if it's okay with the board, I'm going to, we're going to, unless something's going on, we're busy, we're going to commit a, a, one of the, the fire boats and also our police boat to give some vets a ride. And I'll probably be there with my boat if, I, if I'm able. <clears throat> um, but it's a great event. They've been doing it for a while. They take them out for a couple, three-hour boat ride. Then they go back and have a nice lunch at the idle hour. <clears throat> and also, I don't have a time, but... DTE is going to be in Clay Township this spring trimming our trees. And um, they sent me a flyer. I, I'll put it online and uh, have some at the front desk of basically what they would consider uh, in their right of way and how they're going to trim it. If they have to take a tree down or drastically cut a tree, they're going to actually send a letter to the homeowner to warn them. But uh, if, if, uh, if it's just gonna be a trimming on the tree, they're just gonna go and do it. It is there right away, and if it's in the right of way, they're gonna, they're gonna trim it. So that's all I have. Oh, <clears throat> also this weekend <coughs> during the Winterfest on <coughs> Saturday, the log cabin's gonna be open for a tour. The Elgnet Clay Historical is going to open the log cabin, too. This Saturday? Yes. <clears throat> so, okay. Okay. I believe 1 o'clock, but I'll double check with that tomorrow. I got an email. Okay, moving right along. We don't have anything under unfinished business. <clears throat> uh, we have building and zoning enforcement hearings. We have three buildings. Uh, the first one is 8080 Anchor Bay Drive. Do we have a, a Susan Wines or anyone from them here? Sid, you want to give us a lowdown on? Well, you 
got the information on it. They yeah. Hear One second. Sound. The hearing was held in November or December per the ordinance, and um, no one showed up for that hearing either. They were properly posted, and now it's for the board to take action for um, whatever, you know, demolition or whatever you want to do. So. Right. <clears throat> and you believe it's beyond repair, 50%? Close. Yeah. yeah. They would have to come in with some pretty good plans to uh, right and we have no communication from them none okay does anyone have any questions for sid with the board's pleasure uh what do we want a motion to demolish the thing yeah is that it <clears throat> we have to give them 60 days there, there's a procedure following tonight's <coughs> meeting in the ordinance, and th we take that, and then after that point, it's it automatically can be taken right. care of. Right. We, we have to notify my, uh, we, we give them 60 days to come in. <clears throat> if they can make Sid happy, and then, uh, um, well, if Sid issues a, a building permit for it, it uh, puts this on hold. Yeah, it puts, it puts the demo on hold. <clears throat> but if they don't fulfill their obligation with their permit, then it, it doesn't come back to us. We just, you know, go and take it down. And then we take it down and put it on the, right. on so the taxes. If I understand this correctly, if we make a motion tonight, he goes about his business, tells them what to do and how to do it. Right. If they come in and get a permit, they've got X amount of days to do it. <laughs> they have 60 days to come in and get a permit. And then it, ever, it, it depends on how long of a permit it gives them. <clears throat> but isn't this the lady that came in here months ago and asked us to help her? And no. No, that was, no, that was, that, that was, that was on Colony. Anchor Bay Drive. Oh, I that mean, was, on okay. Colony. Thank that you. was Colony. All right. She yeah. did and come she did in get and permit. get a permit, but they've done nothing since okay. they got their permit. That's all yeah. right. I'm happy with that. Yeah. What's the time frame after they get a permit that we will be it, strung out? It was always under everybody's impression that they had six months and then they could ask for extension, or we could grant them an extension. After a meeting that I was at two weeks ago at the state level, they get six months. If they don't request it, we are not <clears throat> supposed to go out and solicit people to extend their permits. At the end of six months, they haven't started. Permit is null and void. They have to apply for a new one and start all over again. In this case, if they haven't started at the end of six months, if they get a permit, then it would automatically just be demoed because there would be no but extension. You're saying it could go on forever, really? No. If, but they That's have to, to apply in right. writing for an extension of a permit. The, the new grid. attorneys that they have up at the <clears throat> state now have said, you do not solicit for an extension from the building department. That's illegal. The permit holder, is supposed to come in with or send a letter in, in writing, asking for an extension, which is six months. To you. To me. And then it's my choice whether or not I extend that or not. It isn't an automatic extension. How long has this been going on? This one is, is brand new. This one we cited in, I think the hearing <coughs> was in November, or yeah, first part November. of December. Okay. And, and it's gone through the processes. So now it's, this is the first time that it was here. It, it could have been here a month ago, but the problem, was, or a meeting ago, but it was too cold to put the stickers on, they wouldn't stay on, so we had to wait a week, you know, in which we missed the meeting. But that, you know, because the, the um, stickers don't stick when it's bitter yeah. cold, you know. So, because we do have to post them. We have to post the buildings. I mean, I'm just concerned that these things I've been here long enough, said that you know that some of these things go on for years and years and years. Well, and in the, under the old ordinance, it did. It did. That's why we yes. changed it. Mm -hmm. And in fact, the new, the new building yeah. code that came out, technically we could do away with this, and I could streamline it into two weeks, but I think this is a pretty good deal because it goes through the procedure, you know. Yeah. We don't want to take it lightly tearing down no. someone's house. No. Structure on their own private no, I don't property. want that. I, I, I don't think anybody procedure. does, but... 
it, it just seems, you know, it just, some of these things just take painstakingly right. long. Go on. They used and to. What, and once they learn the system, they just melt it to death. You're right. And, and this system is fairly it. new. We, we've got a couple, I think, that are scheduled to come down. We've had people come in and get their permits and actually fix their buildings, you know. So, I mean, we're getting some, you know, I, I was telling Cindy earlier, I had one that was going to go on the next batch. And the gentleman came in last week. Both I hadn't else? even, yeah, and, and I hadn't even talked to him, but he's got all the plans and he's going to submit the full plans. He's, he voluntarily, he knew it needed to come. And so he's tearing it down. He's going to do it all over again this year. So, you know, people are, are listening and they know they've got to start addressing this. Well, I'll make a motion to, uh, <coughs> I guess, order the demolition of uh, 8080 Anchor Bay Drive, the, um, the uh, boathouse there on 8080 Anchor Bay Drive. Support. Um, Okay, we have motion and support. Any more discussion? <clears throat> Roll call vote, please. <clears throat> Artie Bryson? Yes. Tom Kerger? Yes. Tom Fetter? Yes. Joanne Shirky? Yes. John Horvath? Yes. Cindy Valentine? Yes. Okay, motion carries. <clears throat> Next, we have uh, 8713 Anchor Bay Drive. Arnett Field? Is there anyone here from... Uh, <clears throat> Arnett Field from 8713 Anchor Bay Drive. Hearing none. This is the same situation as the yep. last one. Yeah. <clears throat> they didn't respond to the first letters that we sent out. It was Shoot. posted. And um, now it's for you for action. I drove by. I mean, they, they, they are rough, that's for sure. <laughs> I'll make a motion to order the demolition of 8713 Anchor Bay Drive. Support. Okay, we have motion to support. Any more discussion? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Tom Fetter? Yes. Joanne Shirky? Yes. John Horvath? Yes. Cindy Valentine? Yes. Artie Bryson? Yes. Tom Kruger? Yes. Motion carries. Uh, next, we have, I should be saying these, uh, DB 2015 010. Uh, can, I, can I stop you for a second? Yeah. But instead of making a motion to demolish the address, could we make the structure? Could you, well, in this case, it's the boathouse. Right. So. That's true, too. <laughs> make it the right structure. <laughs> or, or cite the case number and then. Right, I know. Right. That's why I, I, so I should be straight stating. Uh, yeah, uh, we're, the, we're not, we're not going to after the houses, believe me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, we have uh, DB 2015-010-010-2095 Columbine Road. <clears throat> now, I talked to John McClain. This was before Christmas. <laughs> and he told me he wanted to fix this barn. Yeah. And I'm not sure. I, I, I assume that he was residential of agriculture kind of have a farm status. And he said, well, if, if that's, he, he said if he's, as a farm, he doesn't require a building permit. And I said, well, if that's the case, I, I don't know if it's true or not, but if that's the case, then you at least have to give something to me in writing of what you intend to do. And I'll give that to Sid and make sure it, it satisfies. And that technically is not a barn. That's just a, a three-sided shed. Right. It's a, it's a lean-to. Lean-to. He's not agriculture either. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure well, the status. He, but I, I talked to John. Okay. A week ago and again today, he was going to call you, Artie, and obviously he didn't get a hold of you. But um, he claimed he's claiming the right to farm act, and he may or may not fall under that. But from my research the right to farm act exempts you from building permits it does not exempt you from oh making gosh. sure the zoning is you know that that the setbacks are correct right it also does not exempt anyone from blight and or dangerous buildings it allows you to build these but it doesn't exempt you from you know it doesn't say that you don't have to maintain so i was yeah and, and john told me today that he says well i told him i said you should be here tonight 
He says, I'm not going to be there. He says, and if they vote to tear it down, he says, we'll see us, I'll see you in court. I said, well, that's your choice. It isn't mine. You know? I see that's been going on for eight years. I, it's been going on for a lot of years, I know. Yeah. And I've talked to John many, many, many times. And he's never and he's, he's my done neighbor. Anything. I know. I know him for 60 years. Yeah. I mean, it's, but it's just, if we're going to have these laws said, we have to do it for everybody, whether it's I, me, you know, when you're when, next. <laughs> and, and, and Mr. I, I can tell you about fire. My father should be next. <laughs> Believe me. You know, no. I went through but living. I, I know. I, Jesus. I know that. And this building is an eyesore. It, it's, I think it's very unsafe. So, you know, I mean, it, it, it may not stop with a, a demolition order, but at least it's a step closer to getting something taken care of over there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any more uh, questions for Sid on this? I make a motion to order the demolishment of 2095 Columbine Road, the accessory structure on that piece of property. Support. Yeah, motion and support. So I kind of was right. If he is under the freedom of information or the right, right, to, farm. right to farm freedom of information, that. Uh, he may not require a permit, but he, he at least has to tell us what he's going to do. Well, yeah, and, and he's got to maintain. Get a plan. Yeah. Still which, can't which, which, junk. which he failed to do. Right. So, okay. Uh, any more discussion? Roll call vote, please. John Horvath. Yes. Cindy Valentine. Yes. Artie Bryson. Yes. Tom Kruger. Yes. Tom Fetter. Yes. Joanne Sharkey. Yes. Okay, Thank motion you carries. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, next, we have a resolution uh, for Clay Fire to provide primary ambulance services and transport. Okay. Uh, Cindy and I have been working on this. Our uh, <clears throat> attorney basically said that we need a formal agreement, the township, with the fire department. And then we're talking more and more about it. It's like we can't do a contract with them because it's part of us. Like, you know, it's not a separate entity. If they were a separate company or, 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 uh, or with IRA <coughs> or something, that we could. But uh, she said what really needs to be done is us pass a, a resolution stating that um, we want this. I mean, we wrote letters to, to Med Control. Uh, the board gave me the authorization to write a letter that saying, hey, we want this. But the attorney said, trying to dot the I's and cross the T's, says we should do this resolution to, uh, to uh, make it so there's no question about it. I make a motion to pass a resolution to provide primary ambulance services, ALS response, and transport to Clay Township citizens. Support. Okay, motion to support. Any discussions or questions on this? They, they looked this over? The yeah, attorney? this you came from came our... From okay. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we kind of wrote one and sent it to them, and Cindy did, and, you know, they changed it a little bit. And uh, Cindy worked her butt off this weekend. Uh, we put together a packet. It was about three and a half inches. Daryl helped a little bit. A little bit. No. And uh, got it organized and uh, and uh, brought. To, I actually hand delivered it up to the attorneys uh, this morning, just to uh, try to streamline the or you know save time with. For the attorney, and uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. So, roll call the vote, please. Joanne Shirky. Yes. John Horvath. Yes. Cindy Valentine. Yes. Artie Bryson. Yes. Tom Kruger. Yes. Tom Fetter. Yes. Okay. Motion carries. <clears throat> All right. Moving right along, the Clay Historical Society, Society would like to use the park. August 6th, a Saturday, 2016. They're not going to be actually using the pavilion. So um, we could still rent the pavilion now. It's just going to be pretty crowded. 
Oh, that was Sid. That was a typo. Oh, that okay. was. That's crossed up. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> that wasn't important. You just blew it off. Yeah. So um, the we the the pavilion would still be available to rent. Uh, this is primarily on the other side of the park, and uh, you know they they have vendors come in and um, <clears throat> sell their wares and. Uh, I think this is their third year doing it. Uh, we allow, allow them to take their cars in to set up, but they got to stay there until the event's over with. Uh, I always get nervous of cars going uh, around. around in the park when when there's you know people, a lot of people in there, and. Um, so this is a request to do that. And uh, also the wave chargers, they should have put that in there. I think these events are good. I, I, I don't want to get a lot of them because it is a park primarily. That's my own personal, but I'd be in favor of this. So does anyone want to make a motion or? Do you want a motion for that? Sure. <laughs> if, if, right, some, well, if, if, the, if the board so chooses. Well, if you want one, I'll make a motion that we uh, let the Clay Historical Society use the park, not the pavilion. Right. On 8 6 of 16. With the charges waived. Support. Okay, we have motion and support to uh, Elgnet Clay Historical Society to use the park Saturday, August 6, 2016. Any more discussion? I'm sorry, did you say to use the pavilion or not to? No, not to use the pavilion. They don't need that. Did you read this email? That was a different one. Okay. That's All the right. next one. All right. Okay. They're getting ahead of us. Sorry. No, no biggie. <clears throat> uh, yeah, okay, I restated the motion. Everyone understand it? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Okay, next we have <clears throat> summer reading kickoff. It's, uh, it's through the schools, and this is kind of a new event. Uh, <coughs> I'm not sure exactly what it entails, but they want to do an old-fashioned picnic with relay races. Uh, it's basically a kickoff to their summer reading program, and uh, it's, it's all going to be for children 12 and under, and, of course, their whole family. They're going to provide uh, refreshments, and uh, they're, supposed to, they're supposed to bring their own picnic baskets. Uh, basically, they want to, and this will be, they will be using the pavilion. <clears throat> and uh, they wanted uh, permission to use the park that day and waive the charges. It is a, a thing through the schools. When you say use the park, what are they going to do? They're, they're going to have races and yeah. things like that? Yeah, it's like an old fashioned yeah. picnic. Yeah. They're going to have relay races, probably, you know, potato bag no, races. No and, cars. No cars. Um, they're not going to be hawking anything or anything else. It's just uh, their kickoff, a kick, fun kickoff party for their reading program for the summer. Sounds like a good thing. Yep, it's called Summer Reading Kickoff Sports Event. I'll make a motion that we allow the uh, park to be used for the summer reading kickoff on uh, June the 18th. Support. And we're going to waive their fines? Waive their fines. I mean, their fees. Their fees. Their fees. <laughs> we'll get them and we find them. We'll find them later. Yeah, yeah we'll find them later. later. Okay, we have a motion for, uh, for the use of the park June 18th for the summer kickoff reading program. Fees are waived. Any more discussion? Okay, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. <clears throat> Everyone knows that, uh, you know, there, we had a Supreme Court justice pass away and there's going to be a tough uh, approval uh, you know, 
know, for, for a new uh, Supreme Court justice, and and uh, we have another tough appointment to get past this board. Uh, <laughs> Mary Jane Harding, she's been on the um, library board since 1991. Since it started. Since it started. A long time. A long time, and she wishes to be reappointed. And uh, yeah, so I, I'm recommending that the board reappoints Mary Jane Harding to the Elgnett Clay Library Board. I'll support that. Carrie, okay, I guess I made that motion in yep. support. <laughs> Any discussion? Uh, wave hi to Mary Jane back there if you don't hi know her. <laughs> um, okay, more discussion on that? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion <clears throat> carries. You want to say anything about the library? Or? Just that it's going along wonderfully. They have so many nice programs there. Uh, the friends of the library are going to have a fundraiser in April. Uh, dinner at the um, Flaming uh, Grill. And then a 15% of the proceeds will go towards the uh, friends of the library. Do you know when that is? I think it's... April 21st. Okay. I will bring a flyer in when we get there. All right, I'll announce it. If you, if you didn't hear at home, Mary Jane says everything's going great with the library. They got all kinds of fun programs going. There's programs for every age group. There's programs for every age group, and the Friends of the Library, we believe it's April 21st, but we'll we'll clarify on that, yeah, is, is uh, uh, having a fundraiser at the Flaming Grill. And if you go there, uh, part of the um, proceeds go back to the li Friends of the Library, which I think, are they still talking about building a shed back there? Yeah. Yeah. I know they they're want to raise some money. They have a storage issue, want to put a shed out behind the library. So, all right. Thank you, Mary. Jake. Okay. All right. That's all done. Now we have public comments. Does anyone have any public comments they'd like to make? About anything? Come on up, Jack. Come on up and state your name and address. And Jack Ray. I live on uh, 8816 Falker Road, down by Jack Construction or Jack Storage. And I understand they're putting um, machinery back in there and batting cages and stuff. And I was wondering why none of the residents around there were notified about this. Well, it, this is actually not a function of this board, it's a function of the Planning Commission, <clears throat> but <clears throat> it's not a new use. If they're going for a new use, it would, they would have a public hearing and people would be notified. Correct me if I'm wrong, Sid. <clears throat> and, and, uh, but since <clears throat> they have, it's residential with special use of, of light industrial, is what I'm told, and because of that, they, they just have to go to the Planning Commission. Um, well, we went to the last uh, planning commission thing, and they said we don't have any rights at all down there. Well, <clears throat> go ahead, Sid. You can address that somewhat. About 18 years ago, there was a lawsuit over the use of that building. Yeah. And we have a circuit court ruling that says that they can always have an industrial use in that building. That the township, did our ordinances and that, are superseded by the court hearing. Even the zoning board can? Yes, yes. That it, we had the attorney check the ruling. That a judge ruled that that building is always there for industrial use. So it, it's nothing that we can do, and, and the, the elected board has no, no say in it. It's the planning commission. And at the planning commission meeting, week ago or whenever, the person was remanded back to bring in a new, some changes yeah. to the site plan, and they're going to work on that, and everything may be totally different. He doesn't know what he's doing at this point, so we, we've been in discussion with him, but he has not made any decision. Well, my wife and I went around to all the neighbors with an eye shot of that place. Nobody wants it down there. Mm -hmm. We don't want the noise and the traffic. And it just, it don't make any sense out in the middle of the country. Right. You know, we're, I've been there for 14 years. What's that going to do to my property value? Mm -hmm. Yep. Nobody wants it down there. So that's about all I can say. Understood. So. All right. Thank you. 
Yeah, come on up. And <laughs> wave hi to everybody. Hi. At, at home. Okay, my name is Denise Wright, and I'm 8816 Falkert. And I went to the planning um, meeting also. Um, I had talked to people, uh, you especially, in regards to they wanted industrial. They also wanted seven days a week. They wanted from 8 o'clock in the morning till 10 o'clock at night, Monday through Saturday, 8 o'clock in the morning to 1 o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday. I got a petition, which I gave to you, Artie, yep. and we are asking for them to curb the hours of operations from 8 to 8. I don't think that we're asking that much. Right. Can, can they restrict hours? <clears throat> Planning Commission, Watch there any uh, restrictions on the use that they, would, they choose to? Right. But they have to have a good reason for doing okay. it. Okay. But we have nothing in the ordinance that restricts the okay. operation. There's nothing in the, the court ruling? No. No. Nothing at all. That's why we came here to, to ask you to take into consideration. Right. So How long ago was that ruling, Sid? Around How long ago was that ruling? I got to believe it was somewhere around 17 or 18 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Long it, was time. it was in the file. <clears throat> found the file and showed it to the planner. He goes, our hands are tied. We have the same situation on Mill Street. On Mill Street, same thing. When people go to court, we're at the mercy of the judge. Yeah, the cir cir circuit judge, they, they supersede us, or the, 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 our plan, I'm, not us, but our plan and, and ZBA. Because <clears throat> there's a lot of residents really close to that building. Right. You know, so yeah. that's why. I know the planning commission is going to do whatever they can to, to buffer it. Well, the planning commission, when I was there last time, said that they have every right, you know, they, they, right. In other words, they don't have any way of saying, no, they have to stop the industrial part of it and everything else at 8 o'clock at night mm -hmm. for the residents, too. Mm -hmm. um, when they said the hours, I went to give them the petition. They said, hold it. I don't want to look at it. I don't want to see it. It's <laughs> totally not my problem. Right, right. I, I, I took it from her. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and I'll double check with our planner. And he, he had a, he was, he wasn't there that night. He was had a root canal, and uh, so our our, our, the, our our head planner who was more uh, knew more what was going on with that case and see if we can get it restricted. Um, but that's all I can do there. Um, and I know the planning commission's looking to you know to put green space and barriers, you know wherever they can on it. So. I know, I feel your pain, but. <clears throat> Any other public comments? They still have to um, come up with uh, what the Planning Commission sent them back. Right. They have to get that all straightened around. Yep. yep. They said they were going to have it done by the next meeting, which is in. <clears throat> well, we haven't seen anything. Yeah, I don't believe we've seen anything no. yet. No, so. they said. The people that are going to be in that building said that they would definitely have it done. Oh, well, we haven't received anything back with them. They're not going to have it done. <coughs> they, they won't have it done in time. Mm -hmm. So they, they, probably, they might want it to, but I know how things work. <clears throat> We're not always rabbits. We're tortoises sometimes, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, Mary Jane, you want any any public comments? Okay. <laughs> and you guys, board uh, board member comments. Oh, does anyone have anything want to see on the next agenda? Anything in special? If you do, let me know. After board member comments. Yeah, board member comments. Mr. Fetter, me first. Uh, I hope to see everybody come out to the Winterfest this weekend. Uh, there's a lot of different causes going on there that need to be supported. Um, it's going to be a good time. 
Last year, uh, we only had a couple months to plan it. This year, uh, we had way more lead time, and uh, I think it's going to be a very special event. So we hope to see everybody out there. What are the days and hours? It's going to run Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, right? Right. Friday, it starts at 6 p.m., uh, chili cook-off. Uh, DJ will go on at 9. And, uh, Is that an example of his music? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That should be a fine. Nine yeah. until close. I don't know what time that will be. Uh, <coughs> Saturday morning, it starts at 8.30 a.m. with the pancake okay. breakfast till close. And then Sunday at noon. All right. <coughs> Wrestling's at 3. Yes. Thanks. Sunday, Sunday, so, uh, Sunday. Wrestling's at noon, isn't is it? Is it? Yeah. 12.30. Okay. It's on our website. 12 o'clock. All right, thanks a lot. Tom, do you have anything? Nothing. No? Joanne? No, nothing. No? How about you, John? Just other than with this flint thing, I just want to say something about our water. Mm -hmm. I notice, I live on the island, and we have this neighborhood thing, and there's a lot of comment about lead. And if I'm not mistaken, for the lack of a better word, I'm going to say plastic, and I know it isn't. It's a polymer of some kind. <coughs> but most of our water system over there is all plastic. Is that right, John? That's correct. And could I stick my neck out and say if somebody had a major problem, they could talk to you? Sure. Okay. And that's, they, anybody that had that kind of a major problem could go to the water department and uh, yep. I'm just get an answer the, the knowledgeably. We Thank don't you. have all plastic, do we, John? There is some other stuff in the ground. Cast iron, ductile iron. Ductile iron? <laughs> Okay. Well, that, that Flint stuff was put in in the 40s, I think, from what I can understand. Yeah, the old, the ductile. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, and all yeah. of a sudden, probably in the 30s, 60 20s, years later, 30s. everybody's having a heart attack. Come on. Yeah, their problem is they have a lot of less risk. <laughs> that should have been changed <laughs> years ago. Yeah. yeah that's I what... remember five years ago or something when they started this no lead stuff, you were changing the stuff that, in the meters and Our things. meters. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, I know that we're up to square on it. Yeah, the cost of those meters are, what, 30% more? Right. Yeah. So. Is what it is. Yep. <clears throat> Thank you. You're welcome. Cindy, you got anything? I am. For the election or anything? Um, no. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to think if I have anything. Uh, it's been busy, but. What are you talking about? You got a whole report already. I know it. Yeah, you. <laughs> You had your thumb. I already had my, my, my chance, my, my day in the sunlight here. You, do you need a motion? Huh? Do you need a motion? Yeah, but we got to make sure it gets in the minutes. Okay. Oh, I'm going to make a motion oh, oh, oh. to adjourn tonight's meeting of, of February the 16th. We have a motion of support. I'm not even going to ask you if you're all in favor or not. I know you are. have to. Joanne. Joanne. We don't ask, actually, you don't have to vote on that. Have you got an application for absentee ballot? Uh, I know it's getting late, but someone I just... I can print one off me. Somebody just asked me, and I said I'd try to get a vote. There's, there's one online I can print for you real quick. Huh? I can print one online from online for you real quick. Give me a couple minutes. Why are these guys doing tomorrow? I don't know. Are you going to be on the side of Has Sasha contacted you? It's a